Let's get to some new breaking news just into us tonight. And it is rather extraordinary because in the last few minutes, we've learned that the L.A. Innocence Project is taking up the case of one of the most high-profile convicted murderers in the country, according to what his attorney is telling NBC News. The group wants to get new evidence on Scott Peterson from his original trial that happened back in 2004. And if you remember that, it was major news. It's when Peterson was convicted of killing his pregnant wife. It was a huge case for years, really on an international level because of all these layers of drama around it all, from the mysterious circumstances around his wife's disappearance to a hidden relationship to a rogue juror who lied about her own history of abuse to get on that panel that initially found him guilty. Peterson pleaded not guilty, and his legal team has always said he's innocent. His lawyers tried to get him a new trial a couple years ago, but a judge denied that request in 2022. Liz Kreutz is joining us now. So what is happening here? What would the aim be? New evidence and then what? Hey, Hallie. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty stunning development for this case that's now, uh, you know, happened two decades ago at this point. And it essentially uh, means that the L.A. Innocence Project, a group that specializes in providing pro bono legal services to people that may have been wrongfully convicted, believes that there may be enough evidence to show that Scott Peterson maybe didn't do it, which is pretty stunning given the fact that this has gone through, his trial has gone through many appeals that have uh, always been overturned. His attorneys have tried in the past to say because of jury misconduct that there should be a retrial that was dismissed. But we just were pouring through these documents that were filed by the LA Innocence Project. Uh, looking through them, they are saying that they believe Scott Peterson's state and federal constitutional rights were violated during the trial, including a, quote, claim of actual innocence that is supported by newly discovered evidence. So that is what is fascinating. They're saying there's potentially new evidence to show that he may be innocent. What that evidence is, we do not know. They are asking for, um, uh, the attorneys are asking for some new evidence, some of it related to witnesses, some of it related to a potential burglary that may have happened around the time of the murder in their neighborhood. So a lot of questions here, Hallie, but, but very interesting to see what, what could happen here. And it is yet another twist, Liz, in a case that, as we mentioned, has had so many over the last couple of decades. Yeah, exactly. I mean, first of all, Scott Peterson was on death row. He had been sentenced to death. He was able to get that overturned. So now he's sentenced to life in prison. Uh, and then his attorneys also uh, tried, as we mentioned, to get his uh, case retried with this jury misconduct allegation. That was overthrown. But he has maintained his innocence. He continues to maintain his innocence. Big development here with the LA Innocence Project taking it on, but I will say there's been some really interesting reaction, Hallie, with a lot of people saying, wow, of all the people for the LA, mm. for the Innocence Project to take on, some people have said, why are they taking on this trial? There's so many other people uh, that perhaps could use these resources. So it really makes you wonder what, what they have. Liz Croix, live for us there in LA. More to come potentially on that, I know, in the days and weeks to come. Liz, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.